This is 4.1 in Integumentary System Notes. The essential question is, what role does integumentary system play in protecting the body and maintaining homeostasis? The word integument literally means a covering. The integumentary system is divided into the, the major organ, which is the skin, and the accessory organ, which are parts of the skin or structures within the skin that have a um, different function. Skin, some facts about skin is that it is one of the largest organs. It's about two meters, square meters in size and it weighs about 10 to 15 pounds of your total body weight. That accounts to about 7 to 15 percent of your body weight comes from your skin. Another thing about skin, it is the largest sensory organ, which means, remember, sense organs are structures that allows the nervous systems to detect any changes in the environment and that relay that information to the nervous system. One of the biggest functions of the integumentary system is regulation of body temperature. We kind of touched upon this topic when we talked about homeostasis. But during high temperature or when the body temperature is ri rising, one of the first things that happen is that your blood vessels that are located at the surface of your skin, they dilate, which means they open up wide to allow the maximum flow of blood to the surface of the skin, which allows to, for the heat to dissipate out of the body. Sweating is another f response to high temperature, which means that the sweat glands are releasing sweat. And what happens is that that moisture covers the surface of the skin. And as it evaporates, it, it, it takes away the, the heat from the skin. In low body temperature, the opposite happens. The blood vessels that are close to the surface of the skin, they constrict, which means they kind of close up, which restricts the flow of blood to the surface of the skin, and therefore that you're not losing a lot of heat, heat through your skin. Shivering is another factor. During shivering, the muscles are contracting very fast, and when it does that, it creates heat, and it warms the body. Here's a diagram showing you the regulation of body temperature. The first thing you need to understand is that there is a thermostat at the brain called the hypothalamus, which is set at 11 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. When the hypothalamus detects that the body temperature is actually going up too high, then what it's going to do is it's going to signal the nervous systems to open up or dilate the blood vessels close to the um, surface of the skin and release sweat from the sweat glands. That will lower the body temperature and then the information comes back to the thalamus telling it that the body temperature is at normal levels. When the hypothalamus gets the information that the body temperature is dropping, then it sends information to the nervous system to constrict the blood vessels and to start uh, contracting the muscles very fast to create heat. That allows the body temperatures to rise up and now the heat is, um, the body temperature goes back to its normal state which is at 98.6 degrees. Again, remember that the skin is the largest sensory organ, and some of the senses that it detects is touch, vibration, pain, and temperature. Another function of the skin is, or integumentary system, is excretion, which means that it rids the body of a waste product in the form of urea, which is sweat. And the last function is making of vitamin D. When your skin is exposed to UV radiation, that causes production of vitamin D. The skin color is determined by three pigments. 
melanin, which is the primary pigment, which is a more of a brownish to yellowish tint. Carotene, which is the second, the, which gives the yellowish tint, yellowish to orangish tint to your skin. And then hemoglobin plays a factor in color. Hemoglobin is a structure that make up the red blood cells. The more oxygenated your blood is, it will be more of a pinkish red tone. Lack of oxygen on the hemoglobin will give a more of a bluish tint to your skin. 4.1 notes homework is number one, explain how the skin plays a role in maintaining homeostasis. Number two, how does skin aid in protecting the body. Number three, what role does ultraviolet rays play in the integumentary system.